Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. JSP, Java Server Pages, Chapter 4, JSP Implicit Object. In this session, we are going to learn all about implicit objects, the different types of implicit objects in JSP API, examples, demonstration, the practice project for your homework. So let's see what is JSP implicit objects. We all know Java plus HTML is equals to JSP. So we are embedding the Java code in the HTML. Now, when we talk about the JSP that basically linked and converted into the servlet internally with the help of JSP container. So these objects, the implicit objects that are created by the web container that are available to all the JSP pages. So these objects are linked to those classes that are based on servlet API and internally it will be converted into the servlet. So this will help a container to understand and convert these objects into their respective servlet piece of code. So what are we going to do here? We are going to replace a piece of code which is written in a servlet into the simple JSP tags. And these objects will help to invoke that class uh, to the container. There are nine different types of implicit objects that are available in JSP API. Out and the class of this object will be JSP writer where we are going to replace the print writer class of servlet into the JSP writer. We'll request which is a class of HTTP servlet request, response, HTTP servlet response, config, servlet config, application, servlet context, session, HTTP session, page context, page context, page is for object and exception is from throwable. Now let's take a look one by one of all these objects. Out. Out implicit object is for writing any data to a buffer. This provides an implicit object named out. As you can see in servlet we used to write print writer out and response get writer. This is the way we used to print or out values. Now it is replaced by JSP in this form. The tag percentage out dot print. I'm printing the message to the JSP. Request. JSP request is an implicit object of type HTTP servlet request class that is created for each JSP request by the web container. It can be used to get request information such as parameter, header information, remote address, servlet name, server port, content type, character encoding, etc. and many more. It can also be used to set, get and remove attributes from the JSP request scope. Request object is invoking on the HTTP servlet request class and converted into the servlet. Example. The servlet, we are going to write like this string required and equals request or get parameter and passing the value. And it is replaced by JSP with the help of these tags string name equals request dot get parameter. So we don't have to override the do post method and do the complete servlet now. The complete servlet is converted into this particular piece of code. Response. Response is an implicit object of types HTTP servlet response. The instance of HTTP servlet response is created by the web container for each JSP request. So when we create a request, it is converted into the response. So now from whenever we get the response from the container, it has to be converted into the response object now. When we receive in a JSP page, so it is what the response implicit object, it's this responsibility to create into the response object. It can be used to add or manipulate response such as redirect response to another resource, send error, etc. So as we know, the HTTP servlet response has a method 
to page redirect that's called send redirect so so that is replaced and we here can use it in the send redirect method config config is an implicit object of type servlet config this object can be used to get initialization parameter for a particular jsp page the config object is created by the web container for each jsp page generally it is used to get initialization parameter from the web.xml file so we have seen in the servlet config and servlet context uh, advanced servlet course where uh, this particular servlet config will basically retrieve the values from the init parameter from the web.xml this is nothing but the same thing the config implicit object is simply making an object of the servlet config and getting the initialization parameter from the web.xml and this is the way we can retrieve the value all you need to do is config.get init parameter method this is the same method we used at the time of the servlet config application application is an implicit object of type servlet context so we have seen config this is nothing but the context so in the case of context we are going to get the context parameter from the web.xml you can see here instance of servlet context is created only once by the web container when application or project is deployed on the server this object can be used to get initialization parameter from the configuration file that is deployment descriptor web.xml it can also be used to get set or remove attribute from the application scope this initialization parameter can be used by all jsp pages so we have seen in the config this is the config get in it parameter and this is your application dot get in it parameter basically both of them is linking to your web dot xml but their parameters are different in case of config we are going to get the in it parameter whereas in case of application we are going to get the context parameter that we'll see when we actually show you the demonstration session is an implicit object of type http session if you here java developer can use this object to set get or remove attribute or to get the session information we have seen there are four types of uh, methods with the help of which we can maintain the session since http is a stateless protocol and that means like the server doesn't know who is the client to maintain the sessions one of the method is called session attribute so with the help of this method with the help of this object you can maintain the session you need to share the information to set the values to get the values to remove the attributes and to get the session information so all these things can be done with the help of the session in jsp you don't have to write the complete servlet code for this so this is here you can see uh, first we are getting the value and printing the value and we are setting the attribute to the next page so second page the second jsp when it goes it will get from the first jsp and printing that value so maintaining the session here page context page context is an implicit object of type page context class and this object can be used to set get or remove attribute from one of the following scopes of the page for example like we can mention the scope like page request session application and by default it will be the page scope is the default scope but what is happening here we are going to get and perform the manipulation in the page with the help of these scopes uh, that will be more clear when we actually see the execution but for now it's just in maintaining the session and that session will get some scope 
up to request based on request based on page based on session or based on the complete application so we are going to maintain specific parameter of this application with the help of the scope page this is an implicit object of object class this object is assigned to the reference of auto generated servlet class we all know that object is the base class of java so when we work with this java we have to initialize and make an object class In initialize it and create an instance of it it's basically for uh, getting the logs from the application if you have any application which needs to get the messages from the log system at that time you can use this particular type of implicit object exception this is an implicit object of type java lang throwable class this object can be used to print the exception it can only be used in error pages it is better to learn if the page is directive so this is the way we can get the exception define the exception in the page now let's take a look at the demonstration of all these implicit objects so what i'm going to do here i have an application it's called jsp implicit object demo in that application we are going to have these files index.html which is the starting page from here we are going to get the values for checking out the all implicit object functionality so once we enter a value here it will go to the welcome.jsp and from welcome.jsp will display you all the parameters with respect to the request response config application page context exception out session page and you can see how it works and based on their functionality you can go and further check the next pages web.xml will contain some information or for uh, config and context type of uh, implicit objects and error.jsp will contain some information for exception so let's take a look at the execution so this is my eclipse ide and i have created my very first jsp demo application as a dynamic web project so here this is my application and uh, here i have my web.xml and let's start from your index.html so in this page i have mentioned some form where i'm going to the next page when i entered some value to maintain the sessions in some kind of parameters and when it is done then it will go to the welcome.jsp and in welcome.jsp i am getting that value and showing the demonstration of out implicit object and printing the calendar then i am using the request implicit object and printing the parameter which i have entered in my index.html config i am printing the value from my xml and uh, this is the values it should print here parameter init parameter for the config get init parameter so this will print me the value from that number 5 session implicit object and here it will print you the value and go to the second page and maintain the session to the next page and it will print the value in the next page and response and then page context and you have a demonstration of your exception and second jsp in your page context implicit objects so let's execute and see how it works so it start from index.html i'm running it and deploy it in my tomcat web server and this is how it shows to me so application demo is a different form because it has a different variables so when i print here so this will give me the out implicit object you can see i was printing the current date and time request implicit object 
my session was maintained and it's getting the value from my index.html config since it is not linked so it is not showing me the parameter from that it will show me from the application you can see here this is my application value this is what it is printing from the parameter value it is reading from xml now for session you can see if i go to the second page this is printing my and maintaining the session from index.html he picked the tech ranch and printing into the next page hello tech ranch second jsp response implicit object so if in case i put anything here with the help of the response object i'm going to redirect my content to the next page so this is what i did it in the google response implicit object demonstration page context implicit object since page context will take you to an another page and showing the context from that so this is what the context and my exceptions is case of error coming so let's take a look for the config implicit object let's take a look at the demonstration of config implicit object so here i'm going to getting the value from the user and as you can see the out implicit object is printing the value request is maintaining a session and here is the config where i'm getting the value from my xml if you want to see here this is my value from the xml the param value this is what it is printing here in the welcome.jsp so we have seen the application which includes almost every implicit object implementation now let's see the important facts about implicit objects so we know the java is embedded in html and becomes the jsp so these implicit objects helps to write the java in html implicit objects convert jsp into the servlet and these objects are created by the web container that are available to all the jsp pages now it's homework time so today we have an, a web application project named online movie booking the requirement of this booking uh, the requirement of this project is you have login id and date and movie and instruction says make a web application named moviebuzz.com use different type of implicit objects and logged in the welcome page with message and get booked a ticket for a movie so what you have to do you have to maintain the session with the help of a session uh, implicit objects in displaying the message to the next page and getting the movie name from the xml using the context uh, tags and retrieve from it from context implicit objects and uh, printing the date current date or date of booking with the help of your out uh, implicit objects so let's practice something like this and getting the hands on experience on how the jsp implicit work in actual project so far we have learned in jsp about directive tags scripting lang elements and implicit objects in the next session we are going to cover about jsp action tags which is very interesting and important to learn so stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the updates and notification from our upcoming please post comments and feedback and suggestions in the comment section thank you so much let's make coding fun